And with the hot seat, basically, you just um, put your partner in the hot seat by asking them questions that are uncomfortable. What's up, YouTube family? It's your girl, Nisi, and your boy, Diddy. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> Broadcasting live to a YouTube channel near you. So today, um, we are kind of out and about. We are at a park, and we decided to, you know, just kind of come out and catch a little bit of sun. <laughs> me, myself, not feeling really the greatest today, you know. If any, any females can relate to what I'm saying, you know, we kind of have days where we feel pretty and then we have days where we don't feel so pretty. Today is one of them not so pretty days for me, but I think it's kind of like maybe a sinus infection or something, but I've been drinking water, taking vitamin C, trying to get rest and stuff like that. But I ain't gonna let that get me down. I'm going to still push on, push through. You feel me? Life goes on. But it's definitely that season. You know, when it's in between summer and, and winter, when you're in that fall season, a lot of times there's a lot of illnesses and stuff like that that try to catch up with you, like the flu and different things. Baby, get away from the edge. Just, you scaring me over here. <laughs> You're scaring me. I'm like a hundred feet away from Look, you're about to fall down that little hill. He's making me nervous. <laughs> he doing the most, okay? I can't, mm -mm. look at him. He's trying to get a little bit of sunshine on that head. I told him he had to um, get some sunlight. It's okay. See the fit I just got on some Crocs. He got on his Crocs. But yeah, today, he doesn't know. Today we're gonna do a video. We're gonna do hot seat. I guess he can put me in the hot seat too, but I didn't tell him about my idea and what I was gonna do, so come on over. So this video is gonna be hot seat video. I'm pretty sure you've seen it time and time again on YouTube, nope. but it's just, it's, it's, it's a, um, I don't know if it's a challenge, but it's basically, it's gonna be the hot seat, okay? And with the hot seat, basically you just, um, put your partner in the hot seat by asking them questions that are uncomfortable and you know they would not rather answer and they you know more than likely would, wouldn't answer under normal circumstances so my first hot seat question for him is you first met me and you know within several months of us talking did, did you, that you um, think um, you that had, you, 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 or would, how can I you say could, it? Did you feel like I was the person that you wanted to pretty much spend the rest of your life with or be with? You gotta be honest. I knew it was going somewhere. That's, that's your honest I, I, knew, okay. I knew the vibe was right. Everything okay. was right. Okay. So I was like, let's see where this goes. And look at us, six years later. <laughs> okay, so now my answer is a little bit different. I'm gonna answer that question too. So after like a year or maybe less, I can say that I did feel like he was my person. Yes. I felt like um, he was definitely the it. type of man that I could spend the rest of my life with. You're saying this like that's the, five months into That's it. the God's honest truth. No, actually, so his like answer is different, which behind the scenes, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to have to. I'm, no, it was like three months into it. You started talking like this. Not no year. No, nah, we no, I said, honestly. okay, yes, we are, but okay. I said, I love you, but that didn't mean that I had the feeling that I want to spend the rest of my life with you. That's different. Mm -hmm. Get it together. Mm -hmm. Okay. So he said he knew that it was going somewhere. So his answer is different from mine, which is okay. I ain't going to beat him up about that. That's his answer. And he's being honest, no, no, right? But, but the question you asked me, you answered saying a year. You asked me like within months. So no, I knew it was no going I, well, I said I said within several months of us dating. Right, several months. That's like three, did, four months. Did you feel like I was the person that you wanted to spend the rest of your life with? And you said you knew it was going somewhere. Okay. okay. That's. Now I mean, we gotta, no, okay. Hold on. I we're not gonna. Asked this we're not first. gonna make this complicated. On, okay. Asked this Fight. That's your answer, because and it's okay. We was we was talking 
before we became official. And we became official like what right. four months later? No, it was more than that. So official? It yeah. was more than because um, we started talking in August. We made it official in December at the end. Yeah, so. So that's, that's what I'm well, saying. Yeah, I know it's okay. going somewhere, but once you okay. say dating, now that's a whole nother thing. Oh, okay. Okay. Look, YouTube, he, he just had to justify that. You feel me? Because he didn't want the aftermath later. Oh, oh shit! Right. So, now nah, I'm, I'm joking. No okay, so do you have a hot seat question for me? No. Because I didn't think we were doing something like this. Okay, uh, but just, I, I mean, think of something off your dome. You used to rap. Know. You could think of things off the dome. True rappers can think of things no. right off the dome. Uh, Am I... Gotta answer honestly. Okay? No lies, no cap, none of that. Am I the best or close to the best? The best. Um, the best. Relationship the best. slash woman that you've ever had? The best. That's your honest answer? The best. Answer? Honest. Look at it. Aww. You didn't even have to come out with it. I already know where it was going. <laughs> Let me take my purse off. Came Ouch. down the best. You getting hot? Mm -hmm. No, I'm, I had to take my purse off. I'll answer it. Anything that he, he answers, I can answer myself too. And my answer is definitely, absolutely, I don't even have to second guess it. He is definitely the best person that I've ever been with in my entire dating. So, without disclosing a specific amount, dun, 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 I was a virgin. How many what bodies you, you got? Damn, son, where'd you find this? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> A virgin with, with kids, right? How many bodies? Not many. I wasn't out there. I didn't give a damn. <laughs> I still don't give a damn. I got mm -hmm. my baby. Okay, so... I don't got many. He's not going to answer that honestly. No, seriously, I ain't got many. Okay. He don't got many. I would say... I don't even want to hear. With me... Look, he, look, he turning away. <laughs> yeah, ain't no dude want to hear this. With me... I don't got a lot. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm... At my big old age, I, you know, it ain't like, oh, I got two. You know what I'm saying? So that's my answer. They don't I'm going to leave it at that. They don't matter. They don't. Don't matter. Um, two is cat. I didn't say two. Oh, I, said I didn't two. say two. I said I don't have two. Oh, okay. I mean, come on. People know that I have three children. And so do you. <laughs> okay, this is a good one. What is something that I do that absolutely positively irks oh, the body, shit. That irks your nerves hot seat question number three gotta be honest you don't really irk my nerves though baby i do I'm get like, on your nerves sometimes you get you might get in them days where every little thing like is it like a nag or is it like a, a little bit a little bit but like every little thing bothers me. like do i be over the top sometimes do I be over emotional? I mean, it's, you know. You do, but it, it's natural. And you be right most of the time. So it's not like I could even really get mad at it. But you gotta but pick you something. Do, but you do you gotta pick something that, like, you know, when you're by yourself, you're like, God damn, this girl, she getting on my, oh, I can't stand when she, one of them type of things. The only time I do that, though, is like, if I'm downstairs with you. Mm -hmm. And then I go upstairs, and then you be like, Papa, come here. <laughs> I'm like, God damn it, I just got up here. <laughs> now I got to go back down, and it'd be <laughs> something you could have called me, text me, whatever. But okay. no, nah, you don't really, you don't get under my skin like that. That's okay. why I said it's the best relationship. Aw, okay. So, um, yeah. I think with me, honestly, I think the only thing that, and I, I, can, I can honestly say that, it's not like it really gets under my like it's just like yo i can't deal with this it's not even like that but i can honestly say what bothers me sometimes is just how nonchalant he is about everything chill. when he just be like super chill like when it's not warranted like times that i think he need to turn up now he can turn up i'm not saying he can't turn up but Wait a minute, when don't I, turn up? I think it's like things things that i feel that may be like something that's real compassionate to me or something that I feel that he should maybe address a little bit more. Maybe he's not, he's just, he's always just like, whatever. You feel me? The attitude would be like, 
okay and you know what i mean so i think that's probably like um a pet peeve but it, it doesn't get under my skin but i just be like damn like why is he so calm about this which you know honestly in a way it is a good thing like because it's almost like he that's where he levels me out at because you know me being that i am such a compassionate person i'd be ready to turn the f- up we'll about everything up about, about everything huh we we'll be turning up about this i mean i don't know it may it may be okay so say let's say you ordered food from a, a fast oh, food place right yeah. and you told them what your order was. You repeated it to them a few times. I'm going to get in the shade a little bit. I'm going to get down here. You told them your order a couple times, and they come with something complete opposite. Me, Nisi, what I do, okay, I don't get disrespectful, but I will call them back and be like, hey, I ordered X, Y, and Z, and y'all sent me, like, what's going on? And to him, he'll be like, it's not that serious. Don't call. Don't say nothing. You know, just just leave it alone. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it's, and but the thing is, I won't even be calling him to tell him, like, y'all got to y'all got to bring me some new shit. He say I get disrespectful to me. Disrespectful is this. A place got your food wrong. You call them, you get on the phone and you like, yo, didn't I tell y'all motherfuckers I want X, Y and Z? Why the fuck would y'all say? That's disrespectful to me. Me, I call, and I'm just stern. I'm just a stern person. That's my personality. You call him and I don't get. Tell him. What do I tell him? She'll call and be like, um, just so you guys know, there's too much salt on these fries. That's disrespectful. No, I'm just I'm not drop it down in the comments. If that. I'm just saying, you just call over stuff like that. Like, you know, you gotta be careful. People got high blood pressure. Da da da. Like, but still, like, I don't know. The, okay, stuff. that's where we differ at because. I don't know. I, I look okay. So one time we ordered food, and I I promise you, it seems like somebody literally spilt the whole salt shaker on. The, it was salty, salty, salty. So I called and told him, and he he's different. He don't do stuff like that. He'll just be like, you know, wow, this is salty, and he'll eat it or dust or you know. So that's where we kind of differ. At, but yeah, it's so pretty out here. Oh, look at that sun. Am I getting tan yet? Yo, look at my, look at my head. <laughs> that joint is white. It's so pretty. Mm-hmm. Look at this murky behind pond. Oh, you can't really see it. Yo, this water oh, is definitely murky. Ooh. Get closer. So you don't have any hot seat questions for me? I can't get close. I'm scary. Let me see. I'll get, matter of fact, I'll get close over here because there's trees and if I fall, the trees will catch me. What if, yeah, what if, what if some type of animal just come out? Like? Look, there's a snake right there. Stop, it's right Papa. There. It's right there. It's coming towards Papa, you. Papa, stop. Uh, don't it. play like that. You see where it's not cut? Don't step on that. Let me see. Step I can't go too cut. close because, uh-uh. But yeah, the, the water is mighty murky. It's like greenish. There'd be a lot of geese and stuff over here too. But full disclosure, I had to, I went to the doctor today. I made it an emergency appointment because my hands are really swollen. They're really tight. Um, I do have high blood pressure and I had to get my medication switched around. And um, I have to take some more tests and I need to obviously lose some weight. I mean, I'm not super duper fat, but you know, I'm only 5'2 and like 195 or something like that. Um, And I need to stop smoking cigarettes. That's a must. But yeah, we just wanted to share our little um, little outing with you. It's real nice. The breeze is beautiful. The sun is beautiful. We just wanted to share this with you. I want to kind of surprise you with a little, little hot seat video, you know, so... This is all we're doing. We're going to enjoy our day, go have dinner, um, just relax and enjoy. And that man I love over there, I just love him with his bald head. <laughs> I'm liking this new bald head thing. I always said I didn't like bald heads, but I love him. So it doesn't matter. 
I love that man. I love you. Yes, yes. <laughs> so, this is Nisi signing off for Swirl Game. And that's Diddy over there. Diddy and he's signing off for Swirl Game. And much love. We love you. Peace.